Oh gosh, we, I think we all have Stan Van Gundy impressions. Let's see this. <laughs> Mine? Gosh damn it! Can you make a fucking shot? Set a screen, Andre! <laughs> that coach is nonstop, so I think everybody has their own impression. When we're on the plane, we'll joke around the locker room, we'll make fun of it, but uh, you know it's all, it's all in good fun. Uh, I was born in Portland, Italy. My dad was stationed in the military. Uh, from there, I moved to England. I remember a few memories playing soccer a lot with my brothers, chasing them around, my older brothers. I mean, I didn't know anything of America at the time. But it was all I knew. I just followed my brothers around the neighborhood all the time. And we ended up always playing the neighborhood kids in soccer a lot. So I always loved soccer growing up. Oh, no, 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 no. I uh, never considered playing soccer. Uh, when I got to America. Basketball was the family sport, so that was kind of the only thing that my parents were gonna let me get into. I think being a nomad growing up really has made my game what it is today, but I just felt like uh, growing up and moving around a lot, I always had to try to find a way to fit in. Uh, you never really get to be the hometown kid and stand out, but you just always just find out how to play. Oh, returning to Oklahoma City was, it was, <laughs> it was different. You just have so many mixed emotions. And somewhere that you know you, you grew up that has helped you become the man that you are today. And at the same time, of course, you carry animosity, you want to be the guy there. Uh, unfortunately, you know, the organization seemed envisioned one thing and I think I envisioned another, so. I think I prepared myself when I had made the statements day one for booze and for the hate and yeah, I didn't it didn't really bother me too much definitely it was a trip that I enjoyed making with my teammates and getting to see how much they took it on personally just because you know they knew how personal it was for me I think I come off mean sometimes I come off as an asshole <laughs> somebody who doesn't want to talk because I generally most of the time don't I'm very to myself, I'm much of an introvert, very quiet, so really only my brother kind of knows who I am. He can see me from day to day and without saying a word, I think I know how he feels. I know what's going through his mind at any time and without saying a word, he knows what's going through mine. Just because I've always wanted to follow him and I think his dream was to see me accomplish mine, so I think I've been very blessed in life to just have the team that I've been assembled with and uh, without him I don't think I am where I am today. Uh, Russ is Russ. You gotta enjoy him. You gotta, you gotta respect somebody like that. They don't, they don't care about anybody's opinion. You know, they are who they are day in and day out. And uh, You know he's him. Like I said he loves fashion. Oh uh, no I dress, I dress very laid back and relaxed and um, I call my my swag kind of bummed me. I just like to be in sweats. If the league didn't make me dress up, I'd probably show up in my basketball gear and just hop on the court. Uh, I don't really care to try to, I don't dress to impress anybody. <laughs>